monitoring anxious dogs to carrying a first aid kit while you're taking your pooch for a walk. These are just some of the guidelines the government is proposing for WA dog owners. The rules have been labelled barking mad by some, but the RSPCA says they don't go far enough. Man's best friend <coughs> now comes with its own instruction manual. The government's drafted a 43-page document detailing how to care for your pet. They say it's to prevent animal cruelty. Others say... Oh, waste the time, waste the money. Among the recommendations, owners should stop or modify training if their dogs are anxious. There's a minimum size for kennels. You should avoid speed bumps while driving, carry a canine first aid kit when going for a run and don't tie up your dog for more than two hours a day. Like everyone else, I love my dog and I want to make sure that uh, everyone else treats their dogs uh, well and properly. Well, I think they've taken it a bit far. When they are too many, too strict, too complex, uh, going overboard, uh, it's not going to be... Uh, workable for anyone. But the RSPCA says we should add more to that list, including banning electric collars. We don't think that they should still be employed in this day and age. There are alternative methods of positive reinforcement for those. But these guidelines are only voluntary. There are no penalties as such attached. The opposition says the report is a waste of money and the government's got its priorities wrong. We don't have a guideline on how to raise our children. We don't have a guideline on how to look after our elderly. Yet we're going to have a guideline on how to look after your pets. Cayman Gok, Nine News.